EMDR is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. Very fancy words. Basically, your eye movements control a lot of your brain. So you have your optic nerves that contr- uh, that like go back to your brain. Um, when you do that, uh, well, even right now we're talking to each other. When we talk to each other, our eyes have to move. If your eyes don't move, it's like hard for you to think, right? It, like, you know, when you're like talking to someone, it's literally constantly shuffling. Mm-hmm. Um, so eye movement's really, really important when you go into REM sleeping. This fast flutter, it's dreamlike. You're able to dream in REM. Um, so when you're doing that, um, we we found there's a correlation between mental health and EMDR. When people are, EMDR therapy is usually for people with like mental health issues or PTSD. Um, it's this bilateral left and right motion. So when you're doing this bilateral left and right motion, it puts your eyes in a state of hypnosis. So you know when you're swinging a pendulum left and right, it calms your system down because, um, you know, thousands of years ago when we're hunting and gathering, we're always scanning left and right. Oh, we're safe. Oh, we're safe. There's not a lion here. Everything's fine. And it calms us down because it gives us that security that we're safe. Now, if there's a lion in the room, you're like, stop. I want to look up and down. What is that? Like, and then it gives you a heightened sense of anxiety. Um, anxiety, the spider fight response. It's really, really good when you need to look, run from a lion. Um, you also feel that way too, that up and down when you see an attractive person in the room and then you look at them up and down and then your, your heart like flutters, you get a sense of heightened awareness and it literally changes, changes our physiologically, uh, changes us physiologically. So our eye movements is directly correlated to our body. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, that left and right motion is really, really calming to our nervous system. That's why driving on the road, that's why it puts you in a state of hypnosis because you're constantly scanning left and right over and over again. And it puts you in a state of hypnosis automatically. Um, But then when you see a car accident, you're like, oh, up and down. And then you're like, oh my gosh, there's a car accident. And then you get a heightened sense of awareness. Um, uh, You can also see like um, stop signs. They're, They're like up. So when it's you have to look up so you get more awareness when you like look up at street lights. Um, when it cops behind you, you look at that um, the mirror in the top and you're like, oh, I have to look up. And in looking up, it gives you a fight or flight response. <laughs> yeah, it's something so simple that I'm like, oh, that that's so good to know. It's just so to clarify for our listeners, like basically when your eyes are looking left to right, you are like it, you're, it helps your brain enter a calm state. But when you look up and down, it enters like the fight or flight. Yes. 